All right, Darkey version 9.0.2 is available, and now there's a ROM configurator. Darkey has a crew now of Joel, Risto, Andrea, and Marco. Those are the guys you want to buy a beer for. So with the new app, it's a kitchen, so you can, before you set up the ROM, you can choose whether you want a green circle battery or gingerbread battery, or even whether you want um, the Voodoo kernel or the Speedmont kernel. Okay, let's review our phone starting point. So we're starting with Darkey's uh, version 8.1. Um, that, the kernel it came with, was Speedmod K12M. And that was a JPY base. Okay, so let's go to the market and search for the new app. Okay, so let's see what our kernel options are. Um, let's go speed mode since that's what we have. Let's keep it normal gingerbread. I'm going to take the shortest path, meaning I'm just going to download the ROM and flash it. I'm not going to wipe, I'm not going to disable my lag fix. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's start downloading the file. File has downloaded. Now let's uh, copy the file over to the internal SD card. Okay, let the files on the phone, let's disconnect the phone. Okay, so now we can reboot into our custom clockwork mod recovery. Here we are, we're flashing from clockwork. Okay, so it's gonna do its thing, it's uh, gonna copy its files and uh, run its scripts. It's so awesome with a custom ROM that you get updates so frequently. Okay, so we're gonna let this thing run and uh, come back to it when it finishes. Okay, so it's rooting. This uh, ROM comes rooted, um, unlike the previous ROM where you'd have to root it after. Okay, we can start the reboot. We should see our Nexus S uh, boot sequence, because we selected that from the app. Okay, let's forward. We have first launch of Darkies version 9. Let's check it out. Very fast, as one would expect. Oh, the icons uh, have gone back to white. They were green in the previous version. So this is the same JPY base. Darkies version 9 Extreme Edition. Newer kernel, K12Q, P4. Let's look at the firmware info. PDA, XXJPY, phone XXJPY, CSC, XA, JPX. December 20th build time. Pretty recent firmware. JPY. One of the benefits of custom ROMs is you get lots of fonts. So that's the same with uh, Darkies version, even the previous version was this. Easy to switch font. 
Let's look at the RAM. Uh, 338 megs still available. That's good. Another benefit with custom ROMs, easy to change uh, unlock screen. Let's say I want the puzzle screen. I think this is from the Epic. Just select it in the menu. There you go, I have the puzzle unlock. And that's that. If I want to go back to the classic Android unlock, back to the menu, select Android unlock. Turn off the display. Boom, just like that. <laughs> I like that. All right, it's 1 p.m. in the afternoon. This ROM is really stable. I'm on a blog post with an embedded YouTube link. It's playing nicely. The right custom ROM really brings out the best in this phone, I have to say. So overall, I've been uh, I've had a couple hours to play with this ROM since late last night, and I'm very happy with it. It does seem snappy, stable. Really makes this phone a lot of fun to use. Nice Audi. Let's take a look at the product code. What do we see here? K-A-X-E-E, -E, K A B M C. BMC is Bell Mobility Canada. Let's look at all the different languages that come with this ROM. Seems like a pretty comprehensive list. This is just my Twitter client. See, having a, a black theme everywhere really works on this Super AMOLED screen. That's one of the reasons why I like the way the dark Yorama is themed. Hey, there's an XDA tweet. Okay, let's uh, check out the frequency being used by the cell phone radio. So you can see on the third line there, 850 band 5. So I think that means I still have 850. Another nice thing about Darkie's ROM is it comes pre-installed with Mui Music Player. There's a full function music player. It pulls the album cover. And I like this. You just slide that over and you have the lyrics. He drowned sorrow in that Diablo. It better get out of this. Okay. Overall, I think Darkies version 9 Extreme Edition is a great ROM upgrade. You get the newest speed mod kernel and their ROM configurator app uh, is very easy to use. 